A question that is foremost on a lot of people's minds from beginners on up is why are there so many different programming languages? And a lot of times I'm asked the question, what is the best programming language? Now there's a lot of depth to this question and I think this is a great place to continue after the last lesson. As strange as it sounds, all programming languages, no matter how cryptic they appear, are designed to be understood only by humans, not computers. Even assembly language is written to be understood only by humans. There is only one language that your computer understands, the language of ones and zeros. The magic of computing is that sequences of ones and zeros flowing non-stop inside your computer make everything happen. Everything. However, no human can possibly understand or control this process. Even one simple programming instruction, such as printing hello world onto your screen, expands into more ones and zeros than you could count in a lifetime. The first fundamental principle of programming that I want you to learn is this. Programming languages exist in order to make it possible to do a great many operations with very few instructions. The second principle that I want you to learn is related. Good programmers figure out ways to do complex tasks and convert these into simple instructions. For example, it takes a lot of code to figure out how to draw a circle on the screen. But once you've finished with that process, you now have a function called draw circle, which you can use anytime, anywhere to draw circles. Now thankfully, you will never have to worry about that. If you want to design a game, for example, you will never have to struggle with learning how to draw circles or how to create three-dimensional objects or weapons or enemies or anything else like that. All of this work has already been done for you by all of those people who have come before you since the dawn of computing. Just about everything you can imagine is already out there. Everything from making windows appear on your screen to dialog boxes to volume controls to libraries that play music or movies, everything. All you have to do is learn how to obtain and use these libraries and you will be able to produce just about anything. In the end, new languages come to exist because people think they can do something better or in a more aesthetically pleasing manner than some existing language. A lot of this has to do with personal style. Some people prefer doing things one way and other people prefer doing the same thing in a different way. For this reason, you are likely to find some languages suit you better than other languages. There is no best language. Every language is a tool designed to be useful in certain situations and not as useful in other situations. You should always evaluate what you are trying to accomplish in deciding which language you want to use. Now, the more popular that a language becomes, the more useful it becomes for two primary reasons. Number one, support. It is a lot easier to find help for more popular languages because there are more people using it. That means there's going to be more tutorials, more reference guides, more help forums, and so on. And the second reason is libraries. The more people that use a given programming language, the more libraries that are going to be built for it. The number and type of libraries available for a given language largely determine how useful that language as a whole is. No matter how useful or popular a language, without good libraries, you can't build much with it. In general, 
having a vocabulary of different languages is very helpful. Think of this as having a toolbox with many tools. The more languages you know, and the more libraries you know, the more you can do. There are many other considerations to this, which we will, we will be going over later on, but I wanted to provide a basic introduction here.